and Fitzroy, Percy Jones and Bill Stephen with Doug Wade asking the questions. Peter, uh, Doug. I'll have to ask you Holmes? this. Holmes, yes. yes. What was the reason for that? I mean, surely you realised oh, that yeah. a 13 or 14 goal win would have perhaps got you up top. Yes, yeah, I, I realise that, but I, I had a word to him at half time about on McMahon. I said I, I wanted him to play a lot closer on McMahon than he was in the first half, and then he, he, he allowed McMahon to go away again in the third quarter. So you just whipped him off? Mm. He wasn't injured, is it? No. His father thought he must have been. Who did? His father. His father? <laughs> <laughs> he could not. I was speaking to his father after. His mother. I don't know about his father. You what? Well, were you? What? what, what his father? His father. Is there anything else, Doug? It's, it's all right for you because you used to, you used to play on the forward line, didn't you? You pardon? You used to, used to play on, on the forward line, yes. so you were on the end result. Yes. So and I would have loved Harms coming down in that final quarter from the back yeah, line, getting the ball down. Yeah, but you have to have to work either way, don't you? You yeah. have to have to play in a man. And how many do you end up with McGrath for the game? Uh, hang on, I'll check up. Four yeah. goals, didn't he? Four goals, he did. Yes. <laughs> four goals. You got four goals. Right. Well, what about Mark Hu? Well, he had a, a small injury, you know, just a, a slight hamstring. But uh, we, if, well, what, if, if th 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 things early in the piece had been a bad way, we, we would have used him then. But uh, well, halfway through the last quarter, I, 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 I didn't realise it would have ended up like that, did you? No. So I didn't want to, I thought when he, if he had a head done in the last quarter, in that last five, ten minutes, and, and cold, Could have hurt it, it may have hurt his hamstring really bad. Fair Bill, uh, That's welcome, Bill. Oh, sorry, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bill, the, uh, that first five-goal break by Carlton perhaps could have cost you the game. I was sure it did, Doug. We, it was pretty hard to keep the boys' minds on the job because uh, Carlton naturally had the incentive to build up a big percentage and uh, we had to chase them all day. But I never felt that... Um, at any stages, I've felt all the week since Tuesday that uh, Carlton, you know, we could have beaten Carlton if, if we could have got to them. We didn't win. And but you must have been very proud of your boys, just the same. Well, I said that last week and I see someone in the paper roasted me for saying it, but I was proud of them. Of course I was. I thought they gave everything they had. They didn't win, but uh, they could have won. And I think that's what makes competition. And uh, we kicked seven goals in 12 minutes in the last quarter. And, I thought that was vintage Fitzroy. That's how we can play, and uh, it's just a pity, and I'm sorry for the supporters that we haven't played it more this year, but it's taken practically the whole year to get the side together again and rebuild it. Mm. And uh, that's what I set myself out to do, and I feel that um, they have been rebuilt, and I think they'll be a pretty good side next year, actually. Well, Peter, can I just ask you again about another player in Clonk, oh. playing him as a Ruck Rover? Is that his... True position in your mind. Well, well did he justify uh, that yesterday? No, uh, not really. But he, he has been. Uh, he was out the other week. He hurt his uh, arm or, or, or shoulder the week before. But he, he's helped us at the. Uh, um, you know, he, he's. I don't know. We 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 played against North Melbourne, and all of a sudden things happened in the last quarter against North Melbourne, and we we couldn't understand that. And uh, in the last quarter, they kicked nine or ten goals against us. So, you, you so when, when we've, we've had uh, clump on the ball, uh, other, other things have happened. So you I look don't know fairly if worried. It's a fluke, or Peter, are you worried about next week? No, not the least. I no. think we're playing very well at the moment. Well, look, we'd like to give both boys the pat to juice, and you can give this to Wayne Harms' father if he's around. Uh, of course, the white crow tomato sauce. His father, I can't get over that one. Can you, mate? I've heard you on your own now. Yes, yeah, so I'm on my own. Well, what, what's happening, isn't it? She's on holidays. Is she? Up at the surface. What are you going to say, James? Is something stupid, eh, or what? The dustman. The dustman wouldn't take it. Oh, God, you're funny, Dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he said then? So you're, you'll be having a hard week. How are you, Will? I'm good. Let's say this Bill's uh, possibly getting out from Fitzroy this year, and uh, Fitz Billy Stevens coming to World of Sport for many, many years, and he's been a true blue coach, and he's fronted up all the time. He had success last year, not so good this year, but Bill, wherever you go with football, you'll always be admired because you've been a tremendous ornament to the game and uh, being associated with football and world of sport, we're very proud to have you here over the years that you've turned up to world of sport. I really mean that. A big hand for Bill.
you've got the Aladdin vacuum flask, also you've got the Europe food bars, you can't be that. To go with the white coat of tomato sauce, you've got the uh, 4 and 20 pies, and also, not forget, the Valentine's Tasty Cheese. That's a ripper. And how long's your wife for? She's away for 10 days. Do you want to send an old girl around me, do you, Jones, or what? Not my mother-in-law. Oh, I don't know about your mother. I'll try anyone at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and the votes awarded by Doug Wade in the Canberra Television Club Award, through to Peter McConville of Carlton, through to Gary Wilson of Fitzroy, and at Carlton, $200 each to Alex Mark Koo and Ken Sheldon, while Gary Wilson won the $400 Canberra Television Club Award for Fitzroy.